For those of you who think you hate maths and numbers and all that kind of stuff, stay with me because your life may be about to change. My next guest, Johnny Ball, reckons he can turn anyone into a maths whiz. All the secrets are in his new book, but Johnny's here now to give away a few of them as well. Lovely to see you once more, Johnny. Great to be here. The book, Wonders Beyond Numbers, a brief history of all things mathematical. Yep. We need to know this stuff. Uh, yes, it's very interesting. I've written it so that anybody can dip into it and read it. It is not a tutor book. <clears throat> it's, it's all kinds of stories around mathematics, and I think people will find it fun. Some of the maths is in blocks, so you can bypass it if you wish. OK. And then at the end, there's the wow factor maths index, where the difficult maths is, and even that I've tried to make as simple as possible. There'll be people my age, uh, all sorts of grown-up kids my age, who'll be loving your enthusiasm for maths is completely the same as it ever was. Absolutely. It's been a, it's been a lifelong journey for you, Matthew. Right, from six or seven. Yeah. Playing double dominoes nine dominoes with your dads. With, with, with my mum and dad. dad. Yeah. <coughs> um, and, and why then has it been such a, a love affair with numbers? And why, well, why don't the rest of us feel it automatically? Well, I failed at school. I got two O levels. There were some illnesses and there was some trouble, so yeah. I missed some time. So I got two O levels, but I knew I was good at maths, and they found out too late that I was good at maths. <coughs> but that was the spur. Had I gone to university, had I been where I might have been, quite near the top and gone to university, I'd have had one discipline and I'd have been down that corridor of learning and I didn't do that. So I've got a butterfly mind and it goes everywhere. And that's why I feel with my experience, I've, I've been able, well, I know I've been able to write this book which covers such a breadth of mathematics and all in a simple way, all presented simply. If you'd gone down that corridor, we might have lost you to it. <clears throat> so it's a good thing you went in a different direction. I guess the other thing about maths, certainly these days, is that we hear about things like algorithms, you know, ruling our lives. It's, it's perhaps a more obvious part of our lives. Well, absolutely. Days. You'll be in technology, or, or somebody out there will be going to a technology, technological uh, job. And they will handling, be handling t technology that is mathematically very complex. But they never know that. It'll be like kids on, on PlayStations. Mm. It's just the same. You know with your thumbs you can fire bullets and move people around. And it becomes as simple as that. So th the empowerment we get from machines with our mathematics makes it simpler and simpler. Do you, do you think then is, there's a problem with the way maths has traditionally been taught in schools with times tables boring all the kids to death? Do you use your times tables? Hardly ever never. at all. And you can always find the answer if you need it. And that's the point. What we should be showing them is the geometry, the, 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 the joy of mathematics, the patterns in, in, in everything, in nature, but also in architecture, in, in especially Islam. It, the Islamic art is just wonderful mm -hmm. and, uh, and so rich. And, and all that is, is mathematics. Engineering is mathematics, how machines work. We, we were talking before about the, the patterns Archimedes would draw to prove some of his theories, but what, what is your, your favourite story then in there's, there's lots of good stories lots in the book. Them, of Here's one. Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492, yeah. right? Why? Because his map was wrong. He had an old map produced by P Ptolemy, and Ptolemy produced the map from a stargazer who estimated the Earth to be two-thirds its size. Because he got his maths wrong. Because he got his maths wrong. Now, so when he sailed west, he hit the West Indies, which he called the West Indies because he thought he'd found the Indies going west. If he'd bore a hole through where he landed, you'd just about come out of the Philippines. So he was half a, uh, the Earth away from where he thought he was. So had he known the true size of the Earth, He'd never gone in the first. So there's real serendipity, sometimes in mathematical errors then. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, um, Aristotle, people think Aristotle, isn't he marvellous? Some mathematicians said, if I could get all Aristotle's books, I'd burn them all. Because <laughs> there's so much rubbish yeah. in, in Aristotle. So much good stuff, but so much rubbish. Do you know, jo Johnny, it's remarkable. The enthusiasm is completely undimmed. <laughs> and I, I think it's incredible to, to think you turned 79 this year, which, of course, is, isn't that correct? It's, a, an, it's, it's correct. Of course, that's only a number. <laughs> You're right. Of course. Who would have thought it? That you'd just be infusing about maths. Uh, it's all 50 years, years in television this year. 50 Unbe years. Unbelievable. That's a number I'm very envious of indeed. <laughs> Hope I make it half as far as that. Johnny, it's lovely to see you. Thank the you for coming. Tomorrow. I'm sure it is. Best of luck with it. Thanks very much. Thank you.